tile over tile, trust me. I've been doing this for 30 years. If you're going to do it, you're a hack like this guy. <laughs> What's up, early gang? It's Winnie here, and you guys are watching the number one construction channel in the world. That was Steve, the hater shark, and he's gonna tell you in the comments that you should never tile over tile. I kinda agree, but there are a lot of exceptions, and let me go over those. All right, so tiling over tile is one of those things where, like, you know, if you're a baker, you never bake out of the box recipes you always have to make your own right that's kind of how the tile installers look at it it's always easier for them to just demo the old tile and put in the new but i don't believe that's always you know should be the go-to especially for some of the diyers out there demoing your entire floor can be a massive undertaking especially if you live in the city or if you don't have a dump things like that so tiling over tile could be the best option for you there's literally one thing that you have to keep in mind when you're going to tile over tile is your old tile in good shape what does that mean so what that means is if you have had that tile in your house for the last 15 years and none of it has popped off you don't see any grout cracking then it is in good shape so then you could a hundred percent start tiling over the tile you should never tile over tile if you're trying to basically hide a mistake or if your tile is popping up and you're just going to tile over that then that is just going to transfer over to your new tile and that will also pop off i also believe that if you're tiling inside a shower because there's a leak inside the shower tiling over tile will not solve that leak maybe it will for about a week but then you're back to square one with the same problem so it's all aesthetic if you want to change the look of the tile 100 percent go for it but if you're trying to solve a problem by tiling over tile this is not the right move so tiling over tile is essentially just installing tile there is one step that you have to do in order to actually go ahead with it other than that it's just doing another tile job you have to prime your tile with this eco prim grip this is a Maypie product from Lowe's. Uh, this is the best product on the market for this application. Literally, all you have to do is prime your surface and then you can start tiling just like any other tile job. As you can see, our tile here is polished. There's just absolutely no way in the world that you can tile over something like this because Vincent just straight up wouldn't stick to it. Watch what happens to this smooth surface after we prime it. You see when this rolls on, there's almost this like fibery sandpaper kind of material that's inside of this primer that basically bonds really strongly to the tile itself and then creates a nice bonding surface for the, the thin set of the next tile install. It's kind of what it looks like. Make sure that you mix that bucket before you install. It's all dried up and it just has that sandpaper kind of texture over it really really strongly on there now we just go ahead and tile it just like any other normal tile job All right, so here's the closing on this tile over tile thought. I know people are gonna debate in the comments, so you guys can go ahead and check those out and have fun with those. Would I do it? Most likely not. To me, it's just too easy to do the demo. Uh, but do I think it's wrong for people to do it? I don't think so. I do think there's an appropriate application for it. I think there is an appropriate time to do it. So definitely, if it makes sense for you to do it, go ahead and do it. If this video is helpful, please consider subscribing uh, because this channel will be the biggest construction channel in the world. You can book it. This guy's a hack. Unsubscribe. Unsubscribe.